Now at 10 o'clock, we speak with family members now mourning the loss of two Arizona women killed while traveling south of the border. 12 News journalist Brenda Lipinski live in studio tonight. And Brenda, by all accounts, this really just seems like a situation of those ladies being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, Jonathan, family members say that the two women ages 72 and 82 were simply traveling to their hometown. Then suddenly the vehicle they were in tr they were traveling in was riddled with bullets and overturned on the highway. Both women died inside. Heartbreak for the family members of two Arizona women found dead on the Santoya Caborca Highway in Sonora. This was so tragic, so shocking that somebody like my mom and my aunt would be victims of such a crime. Two sisters, 72-year-old Enadina and 82-year-old Ubaldina, who families say were traveling to houses they had in Caborca. Mom was the driver. My aunt was the passenger. My mom got shot in the head while traveling at highway speed. The vehicle rolled over several times as evidenced by the damage by the, on the vehicle. And my aunt actually died from wounds after the crash. Family describing Enadina as a caring grandmother and mother of four children, a primary caregiver for her partner who uses a wheelchair. Uh, everybody that knew my mother would 100% agree with me that she was just a lovely lady. She was super healthy. She was fine and good health and good spirits. Ubaldina was 82, the oldest of the family, and a great, great grandmother. She was always there for any family member. She raised many of uh, my family members, whether they're uh, grandchildren or just extended family. So far, the family says they don't know much of what's going on. And I hear the Mexican outlets saying, well, there's an ongoing investigation. We don't know anything about the investigation. They haven't told us any arrest or any leads or Nothing. But believe their family members are innocent casualties because of drug cartels. Don't be part of that cycle. Don't consume drugs. No consumption means no supply. No supply means all those crimes related to drug trafficking go away. My it mom and, and my aunt are not drug addicts. <laughs> they were not part of this cycle of drug trafficking and arms trafficking. There were just two innocent women, but drugs is the source of the problem. Well, the family has set up a GoFundMe to pay for funeral expenses. You can find that on our website, 12news.com. Live in the studio, Brenda Lipinski. All right.